Hello, everybody. We are very happy with George to be in front of you uh, for the end of this uh, session. Thank you for these big invitations. It was a marvelous moment for all of us. <clears throat> I just would like to, to share with you uh, three, uh, three ideas very rapidly. The first one is that uh, each day, each day I receive a call or an email from my LPs who ask me how I feel the market of private equity for the next month. To be honest, it's a bit difficult in the present situation to answer to this question. So the, the situation is, can be difficult in the world with this awful war in Ukraine, with inflation, all the subjects we address this, uh, this morning. But for, for the long time, I am very optimistic for the development of a private equity in the world, in Europe. Because our world is really important. We have a key role for the development of the economy. We all know that we have a economic transformation, technology innovation. We are so big. I really think that we are in front of the, the most big revolution, economic revolution in the history of the world. And in this situation, the role, the impact of a private equity will be so important. It will, be, it will give us a lot of force, but also a lot of responsibility. As Fanny explained just before us, we, we have to, to, to be in, involved in the digitalization, in the transformation, in the SG of the economy. It is really the first responsibility of our business for private equity. The second question that I receive, not every day, but uh, every week, is what are the challenges of our business today? It will take the afternoon to uh, discuss about the challenges of private equity. I just would like to underline two. The first one is that, as you know, in Europe, in the world, we are in a shark competition market. Competition is very strong, is very hard. Valuation of assets are very high, which can pose some, have generated some questions for the profitability that we could uh, give to our investors. But for me, it's a good news. It's a good news because uh, in fact, our goal is to improve value equation, is to improve management efficiency. And we have no choice to change our model. We have no choice to be more involved in the company, to help the company to develop. And we have also entrepreneurs must change their model. Private equity must also change his model. The, the second issue that we have in our business is the talents. I heard this morning that there are many subjects of recruitment in the business. It is exactly the same case in private equity. And we must say that we are an industry. We must make more noise about industry. We must attract new talents. We must empower them. We must develop the talents in, in our companies. It is very, very important. So just to finish, uh, just a few words, not on CIPAREX, but the, the story of CIPAREX. We, we have a fund which has been created more than 40 years ago in France. And it is a strength, but also a weakness, because it's not so easy to change a model, economic model. And I, my, my conviction in this business is that mobility, flexibility are required for, to, to live from financial intelligence to operational intelligence. It means that we must be closer to the company to create value. So what did we do? We create a platform with different line of business, with specific now digitalization, energy transition, impact. Uh, and so to, we must grow the expertise in our business. We are joined, not generalists, not financial generalists, but we are experts. We set up an operating team to provide added value to the companies. We also, this is very important, I have 15 people, we only work for the assets to help them to create value. It is the big evolution of a private equity business, I think, in the next years. And the last point, we also have an international network, and maybe tomorrow uh, an office here in Greece. And the, the last point uh, is that we open the capital of a management company to 20 partners, and I'm very proud of this because we have an independent company, and I think it is very important for the future and the business. George, yes. up to you. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm George Dimopoulos. I'm a co-founder at Partner Venture Friends, where I sit the Series A fund, Venture Capital. So I would like to touch upon the same points in maybe from a different point of view. Uh, indeed, we are living in some weird times. We are facing an unprecedented crisis right now. Uh, 
and this uh, actually can be like a wake-up call for Europe in order to rethink its, its, its strategy, among other things, about tech, about how to nurture uh, tech champions and global tech uh, companies. If you go back to 2021 and you look at uh, who were the most valuable companies out there, the top five names that are going to come up is going to be the ones everybody knows, everybody interacts on a daily basis, all five U.S. companies, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, and Google. So this, doesn't, this hasn't happened by accident. So far, all these years, U.S. has been overspending, over-investing in tech companies versus Europe by a factor of five. This is a point that we need to address. And this is the, and actually these five companies is the result of this overinvestment. On top of this, on top of this though, it's not only these companies, on an annual basis, the US GDP is benefiting by two trillion of these tech companies. Okay, so this is an important thing that we need to bridge this gap. How can we bridge this gap? There is a fundamental problem that in US there are more institutional money. So pension funds, they invest in US funds 11 times more than European funds invest in US VC, in, uh, sorry, in European VCs. So we need to address this issue and we need to close this gap. We are doing that in a European level with EIF, which is doing a, fanta which is doing a fantastic job. Talking with my French colleagues, I also heard that BPI is doing a fantastic job in, 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 in uh, France. And I'm happy to report that also HDBI is doing a great job here in Greece, especially the last two, three years. It has broadened its mandate, it has increased its size, and now it's in a position to support new managers and established managers with, fund, uh, with uh, track record, which is fantastic. It's exactly what the community and the ecosystem needs. Uh, so talking about the ecosystem, the Greek ecosystem has improved a lot. I still remember back 2011, there were only a couple of companies worth investing as an angel investor. Nowadays, just recently, we had our first unicorn exit. It was a 1.7 billion exit of Viva Wallet, JP Morgan. Hopefully, soon enough, we're gonna have more exits. Hopefully, fingers crossed from our portfolio also. But also as an anecdote, and I'm gonna close with that. In 2016, one of our angel investments was sold to Daimler for 43 million. Back then, everybody was ecstatic about it. It was the talk of the town, everybody was thrilled. Only a month ago, a portfolio company was sold to one of the tech giants in Silicon Valley for a similar amount of money, and no one blinked. It didn't, it didn't even register. And this is a testament how the ecosystem has matured. Everybody, we have grown together, we have increased our expectations, we have set the, the bar higher. So this can be done with ample funding and with supporting fund managers and then subsequently the ecosystem. And we, are, and we have a dream to invest together and to have a unicorn together. It will be a nice project. That would be fantastic and this is towards and, the right uh, direction. And I would like just to finish on a word. Know who your friends are. It is so important to have some friends. In Ciparex, we have big friends with BPI France, which has always been a, a very big support for us. And uh, I am sure that HDBI is a very good support for, for your company. So that, thank you to all of us. No, no, that's an excellent point. HDBI has been super friendly, I know firsthand. And on top of that, they have been super useful with fantastic introductions they have made. It's exactly what you need from investors that you have. Thank you.